Oh, oh my gosh, is that a roving threat? Yeah, it is. Oh, he a big boy. Oh, I would not be able to touch that fool. Look at that. Oh my gosh. It's like a demon straight from hell. Welcome back everyone to a Lotro Quickie. Have you ever noticed that while you were playing through Lotro, that some of the enemies have different colored floaty names? There is actually a reason for that. It's simply a difficulty indicator based on your character's level. The colors of any given enemy's floaty name could be gray, green, turquoise, blue, white, yellow, orange, red, or purple. Now, like I said, these are difficulty indicators, meaning that based on your character's levels, your battle with that enemy or multiple enemies will be either very easy, mildly easy, not bad, challenging, what a battle, oh my god, I don't think I can win this, this ain't happening, and finally, no chance in hell. The color gray means that the enemy is nine or more levels below your character's level and can be taken out with just a few hits, but won't however yield any XP for you. It's perfect for when you're playing for quite some time and a friend starts a new character and needs help with a bad guy or is getting swarmed with enemies. Green means that the enemy is six to eight levels below your character and will be still quite easy to take out. Basically, if you've been in an area for quite some time and have completed nearly every single quest that area has to offer, most of the enemies will be this color to you before you leave. Turquoise means the enemy is three to five levels below your character. Now this and the next one are the main colors you will see in a new area if you're prepared for that area. Blue means the enemies are one to two levels below your character. Now this color and turquoise are going to feel more along the lines of a challenging battle to what a battle. It will be much more challenging, and if you aren't careful, you could lose the fight and be defeated. Now, white is an enemy that is the same level as your character, and will be much more challenging to fight than the last. This enemy will certainly give you a fight that will make you sit up and focus more on the fight. Pay attention and stay focused. Yellow is an enemy that is one to two levels above your character. This is broaching on the, oh my god, I may not win this. These are the types of enemies you will find in areas that you go to that your character is not ready for. You still might win if you use lots of health potions and buff your character a lot before you initially attack. Orange is an enemy that is three levels above your character, and you will really need either help with this enemy, or you'll need to shoot them from afar and let them run at you while you shoot them. Also, this is an enemy you will need to buff your character and take many health potions for. And the final two are ones that you will definitely need help with. Red is five to seven levels above your character, so you will need multiple other friends to help you take this enemy out. Purple is an enemy that you won't be able to even touch. Most, if not all attacks, will be deflected, and you won't earn any XP. If you happen to stumble across an enemy like this, and you happen to aggro it to yourself, either try and run away, or if you fortunately have a friend that is at max level and can basically take the enemy out for you, then that's what you'll need to do, because you won't be able to touch them at all. And they will likely kill you so fast you won't even have a chance to actually attack them. I hope you guys find this info useful and lets you know if you should attack certain enemies. Let me know if you guys have any further questions or suggestions for future videos. Anyways, good luck folks and happy questing.